Hello and welcome from Ontario, Canada. We're in the middle of a 10,000 kilometer road trip, sea trials for the van, creating some new material that we want to share in the future. Today though I want to spend another bit on the roof rack. It's caused a lot of engagement between the clip system and the roof rack system itself. I've had a lot of people commenting and, uh, and asking some questions. So I want to just be a little, I want to clarify that a little bit. And in doing that, a really neat comment came and question came out of the UK. A lady, Jane, I know you're watching, but nice to meet you. The, um, uh, what Jane is doing in the UK and what I did in, Van, or in BC, are they appear to be very similar, but they're very different. Neither one's better than the other, but it's important when you design your roof rack, you understand the concept you're trying to design around so you get the results you want, and both efficiency and time, cost, and of course the structure that you're looking for. So follow this along, a little more detail. If you find it useful, and helpful, please give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. We could use the loving. But also, if you have a question or a comment, please leave it for us. I answer everything. Let's get started. The very first thing you have to ask yourself is, what am I going to use my rack for? Am I going to have a boat up there, some luggage up there? Do I want a deck up there? Or am I just going to use it to hold up my solar panels? And for me, it was just solar panels. Initially three, but there is room for a fourth if I choose to add it later. Each panel weighs about 20 pounds. So my design load is between 80 and 100 pounds, which really doesn't amount to much. But at the same time, I have to have enough structure that there's enough meat for me to work with. I can't just get by with really skinny little pieces of metal. So for the pieces that run from the front of the van to the back of the van, I chose to use two inch by one inch by eighth inch square aluminum tubing. And I made those pieces the full length of the van. Some of the kits you can purchase will have these pieces be two and sometimes three uh, individual pieces that you screw together. I think those joints are just a, a, a source for future trouble. I wanted to be sure that I had as strong a rack as possible. The cross pieces are one and a half by one inch by eighth inch square tubing cut very carefully between the pieces that run front to back. I was really meticulous about that and I kept the pieces uh, at the flanges lined up at the bottom. Now I know this is over designed. When I purchased this aluminum the man that sold it to me claimed to weigh 350 pounds but I think he was he thought that he was lighter than he really was. He was a big guy and we took the one and a half inch piece and blocked it off the shop floor about five and a half feet between the blocks put a piece of this tubing on its edge and he stood on top of it. That aluminum tube flexed. There's no question about it. It sagged, but it did not bend. It did not break. He stood on it for about five, six seconds. I know that this rack is going to be a lot strong enough to hold up anything that I need for it to be to hold up. It's going to do everything I need for the panels. Now, by lining up the bottom flanges, I created a space at the top of the cross pieces where I could run my wires where they'd be easily they'd be easily accessible but not exposed from the street. I thought that was a really neat detail. To connect the side pieces to the pieces that run front to back, I very carefully cut the piece to length first. And then I cut L brackets out of inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter angle, aluminum angle, and pre-drilled two holes on each side. I mounted the angle on the cross piece first on the shop floor, being very careful to make sure it was flush with the end of the, of the, of the piece. And then I squeezed it between my pieces that run front to back and pulled them together with a shipping uh, strap. I had to loosen off the roof brackets a little bit to get the flexibility I needed to be able to get those two corners to come together square, but it worked out just perfectly. Once they were held in place correctly, I drilled from the bracket through the piece that runs front to back and put the bolts and nuts and washers on. All in all, it made a very firm and very strong rack system. And now let's compare a couple of different roof clip design concepts. And before we begin, I just want to say that I'm sharing my stuff with you guys just for the sake of sharing it. I'm not trying to sell it. I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm a carpenter cabinet maker. I'm perfectly comfortable with that. What I'm doing is absolutely fine for me and my family, but you'll have to do your own, your own uh, due diligence for you and your family. So with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing I uh, let's talk about is the clip system in general and the Dodge Promaster vans are manufactured with these uh, these posts coming out of the roof. 
these tabs coming out of the roof they're anchored to the frame I couldn't find a lot of technical data about them and what their, their shear points are and all the rest of it but these are work trucks and they're designed to carry ladders and and roof racks and all kinds of shit up there that weigh a whole lot more than anything I'm ever going to do and these clips are designed to hold that stuff down so I'm very comfortable using these clips for my rack I don't have a problem with that at all I think it's going to work just fine My clip design is wrapped completely around those pins. I don't rely on using any of the roof panel itself to hold anything up or to stabilize them. It's completely wrapped around the pins. And the first thing I did was take a 2 inch by 1 inch by 1 8 inch C channel, aluminum C channel, and fit it around each pin as a clip. I put the, clip, uh, the the hole for the pin in the center and a little bit on each side as you can see. I made mine three inches long just because that was well, that worked out well for the material that I had. I've been asked about the diameter of the hole that I drilled and truthfully I don't know. I started off with a piece of wood as a sample, an eighth inch piece of wood just to see if it would work as a prototype and I just kept machining it until I got the size that this fits snugly around the pin. One eighth inch stock is as, as thick as you can go though without having the hole be a lot bigger because below the pin there's some kind of a little detail that gets a little bit thicker so keep it to one eighth and you should be fine looking at that as a sketch the pin comes through the roof and the C channel comes down and slides right up under the underside of that pin I'm not going to be resting on the roof at all I'm going to be on the underside of that pin And once I've got that set up, I'm going to take two washers on each side of the pin and pack. Now, the washers take up the space that the pin takes up between the top bracket and the bottom bracket. Almost. You see, what I wanted to do, and it worked, it worked out really conveniently just coming right out of the box, but I want the two washers on each side to be just a little bit thinner than the pin is itself so that when I bolt the two the top clip and the bottom clip together I can be sure that I'm getting a really strong pinching down between uh, around the pin so that the pin my clips are attached to the pin really firmly so for the top clip I took a one inch by one inch aluminum angle and just ground off one side to the, where I thought it needed to be it took out and it took a little bit of fitting but it worked out fine drilled the holes for it and then I put the washers in the bolts in the top clip on and it worked out just as lickety split there was nothing to it at all you'll see it here the clip sliding onto the pin the bolts and washers are already installed and then I take the top piece and slide it, slide it over top of the bolts and now that's going to create a sandwich where that clip can't go frontwards or backwards or side to side it's stuck on there now I just have to find a way to bolt it together so I put the bolts on top and because the clip is not down to the roof I could slide a wrench under the clip to hold the bolt tight and still while I tighten the nut down on the top side creating a tremendous amount of pressure in fact I was able to pull because the washers were a little bit thinner I was able to actually cause the top clip to deflect a little bit and you may not be able to see it in this photograph but the where the bolts are the it's pinched down on top of the clip itself it's just wonderful the pin these these wouldn't rotate they wouldn't move at all when they were all done they were so tight that when I was putting the cross pieces and I actually had to have back them off a little bit to make them loose so I could pull the side rails perpendicular and then pull them back down again when it was all done this is the ProMaster style clip it's off the roof and is wrapped completely and tightly around the pin relying on the pin to do all the structural work and hold the frame up that's the design that I came up with. Now let's take a look at what Jane in the UK sent to me about her clips. Jane wants to design a roof rack system that will hold solar panels and allow the panels to tilt. This is a picture I scooped off the internet. It's not her design. But the intention is to have the panels tilt because she's in the United Kingdom where it's gloomy a big part of the time. Having the panels perpendicular to the sun certainly makes them a lot more efficient and the system just works a lot better. But there's nothing off the rack that you can just buy to do that. So she has to design something. She and her machinist have come up with clips that 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 are in this photo and in the next photo and when she sent it to me I thought I don't see how this is gonna work 
But then she sent me a link to a video they've been watching. And the video is for a Fiamma roof rack system. And right off the bat, I got to say, this looks like an absolutely phenomenal system. I love that they sell the clips and the rack together. Some of the, like some clips you spend 40 or $50 on each clip, and then you have to figure out how to build a roof rack on top of it. This one comes out, it all marries together nicely. Um, there's smaller pieces that are bolted together. I'm not crazy about that. And the high, the profile's higher than I would want it to be. I'm not crazy about that either. And this system is $919, and that's in American money. So it's even more in Canada. I'm sure it's more in the United Kingdom as well. And at the end of the day, this is not a system that Jane can just buy and use. She still has to figure out how to make the, how to build a rack on top of a rack to get the panels to tilt. So for this conversation, I would just like to discuss the way the clip system works because that's the part that I think is most important for the for, for building your own rack how are you going to attach it to the roof and in this particular case this is the profile of the of the roof clip and what Jane has so far is just this little bit in the in the oval the rest of it all still has to be designed or built and that's going to be way above my pay grade now you remember the the van of action clip the C channel sits on top underneath the the the, uh, the tab and it creates a space for the roof rack to be built upon in this particular uh, Fiamma system the small C uh, for profile goes underneath the clip the same way and then on there's a bolt that will run through it I think the bolt actually runs through both pieces of the C but for for this the purposes of this exercise we just do it the way it's shown and then the top clip has comes down and sits on top but you'll notice the right hand side of the top clip and the left hand side of the top clip aren't on the same plane one's up on the down up on the top of the roof and the other's down in one of the valleys that are up on the roof and it's it's going to be a real difficult profile to, to build and on top of that this is not a system that's ready to receive a roof rack you still have to put something on top of it to receive the roof rack and build it up high enough to clear the crown that's in the roof a little more complicated once then the bolt gets put on the top and as it's cinched down that's where the pressure comes in and the two are brought together I believe that the top clip and the bottom the blue clip would actually touch each other but I, I can't tell that for sure but as those two are drawn together then what happens is the two outside parts of the upper clip are forced down onto the roof of the van. The compression there is going to be strong. It'll disperse more weight. There's no question about it. It'll send the weight that's on the roof rack over a greater area of the roof itself. There's no question about that at all. And these pins are on in exactly the same place as some of the ribs are in the structure of the van. So it'll be very strong, no question. But because the roof clip and the roof are both metal you'd have to build some kind of a cushion in between the two pieces this is without question an absolutely spectacular roof clip system it's way over my pay grade I couldn't build it and I believe it's a lot stronger than it needs to be for my purposes depending on what you're gonna do with it I'm gonna be holding up three or four solar panels and I don't need anything that's near this this ornate or this 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 well designed I just don't need it I'm going to have the, the roof itself, the pins are designed to hold up ladders and racks and building materials, all kinds of stuff. In fact, the, la the roof racks that are in these photos are probably heavier than my total system altogether. So if you'll allow me to say that I think the system that I've designed is good, certainly the Fiamma system is excellent. And it's just a question of what your needs are and what you can make work. I think if you're going to build a uh, custom roof rack, depending on the weight, I think the van of action clips will work fine. Just my personal opinion. Hope you found this useful. Give us a like, give us a share, and give us a subscribe. Glad you're here.